kind of. Yeah, these are like smell and onions. look like green onions. I think these are green onions. Really? Yeah, I'm smelling it too. That's why I said that. I figured out today's lunch. It's a green onion salad with <laughs> only green onion. Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome back to another episode of Style Selected. If you don't know what Style Selected is, this is a series where we make over people's spaces. I come up with the design, you come up with the design, and they have to select which style they want to go with. Ooh, today we're at my friend Angela's condo. I came over for a dinner party recently, and we had to sit inside because she was not happy with her patio situation. Mm -hmm. So we're here today to make over her patio. And I recently redid my patio, and a lot of you guys requested for a condo version of that because I know a lot of people have places just like this. So tell us about the space, what you want to change, what you want to keep. Okay, so I want to keep nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree with you. I mean, the weeds are my my fave, but I think I can do without them. Although I actually like that little side table. It's, it's a cute like shape. Yeah. I do. I actually do really like that table. Okay. After all this, I want a space that is fresh, bright, just yep. a space that you feel comfortable in. I love plants. Okay, so, so do we. We <laughs> like these plants? Ooh. Yeah. Were these grown intentionally? <laughs> Those came in just this week for you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Becky and I are both going to come up with a design, and then you're going to have to choose which one you're into. Okay. Um, we're going to get to that, and then we'll let you decide. Okay. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. for this space, we were shopping on article.com because they were generous enough to hook up Angela with some new pieces from their outdoor furniture line. Article offers a 30-day guarantee to try out the furniture in your own home. It's modern, original, and seriously, check it out in the link below. Their patio furniture is unreal. I know you guys will love it, so make sure to click the link in the description below. So we're done, and we have some plans to show you. So for my design, I wanted to do dark themes. I found this couch on article that I fell in love with, so I knew that I wanted to use it in this space. I'm using it in the back corner with a large coffee table, and I also wanted to create another sitting area anchored by a rug and her existing little table. I want to bring lots of plants into the space, including a whole plant wall to hide some of the glass and metal and concrete that is currently in the space. In the one corner, I want to create a wooden table area so that she has somewhere to sit if she does want to eat outside. And I know Angela loves a good cocktail, so I'm also going to include a bar cart. In front of the wall dividers, I want to build this chevron trestle that looks good with or without plants. And I'll definitely make sure to bring in some lighting elements to the space as well. Go ahead. Ooh, I love it. I love all the colors too. So my plans for Angela's patio include a lot of light bleached wood tones because she mentioned wanting a light and airy feel. But to make sure that all of the light tones don't blend in with the gray too much, I want to have some fun pops of orange and teal, and of course lots of greenery like she requested. Working with what she has, I want to take her giant planters and refresh them with some white paint, and also maybe take her very sad recycling station and make it a little bit cuter. In the corner, I want to do a seating area with two large comfy chairs and a rug to ground the whole thing. And in the other corner, I want to do a lounger that we can flatten into a day bed so it can seat lots of people, or she can lie on it and enjoy the sun. Now my favorite part of this whole plan is this giant railing bar I want to build for her. That way everyone can either stand or sit against it and enjoy the view of the city. Oh my gosh! never thought about that. <laughs> wow. So, uh, I know it might be a tough decision, <sighs> but you need to decide which style you select. Right now? Right now. Right now. You gotta get started. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, well, I love both of them because there's plants all over <laughs> and I love the colors. I really like the bar cart, but I think I'm gonna go with Becky ah! because this railing bar idea has very cool. sold me. I am I am so excited to see this happen. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's just so unique. So yeah, cool, awesome. Well, I'm really excited to get started with this. But before we do that, we've got to clear out some stuff. Uh, are you down to help us? Mm, yeah. So you're gonna help us. You're gonna pull some weeds with us. Uh, I think I'm late for work. No, no, you booked it off. I know you did. All right, let's go. I'm actually cleaning this one. Yeah, yeah, because we're gonna keep this. Get it nice and spick and spick and span. This is this is good. Um, these we're gonna try to get rid of for free. What about this? Um, 
Like that's, this looks uh, new. <laughs> that's Karina's. What's up with roommates bringing things into your house that you just don't want? Oh, cute. Free. Take Free. my furniture. Okay, I'm just gonna like, like move it inside. Is that okay? Yeah. Just give it back to her. Yeah, we'll give this back to her. Take it can come out after the makeover is done. <laughs> totally. Do you think this will fit though? Maybe. It might just not fit out your door. It'll fit in the elevator. It might just not fit out the door. Well, the door is the first hurdle. <laughs> So since Angela is getting a whole new fresh set of patio furniture, we want to take what she currently has and try and give it to a good home. We took it to the streets and tried to give it away for free. wanted our free furniture. I don't know if it was our modeling skills or lack thereof, but we ended up taking it to like the condo garbage area where somebody will end up taking it for free. And while we were there, we found a gem of a rug. One man's is another man's treasure. But why is it here? It's like, it's just like rug curtain. And it's like straw. For me? What? Last step is cleaning. What? I'm ready, guys. No. What are you doing? We I'm have to clean. Angela, you were a great help in taking stuff out, but now it's time for you to go so we can let the makeover begin. Okay. Can you uh, maybe take the box though? Oh, yeah. Your box of your recycling box. Junk. Okay, I need to. I need the gloves. Okay, true. <laughs> All right. We will see you tomorrow with a brand new patio. Bye, guys. Have fun Bye. at work. Um, as for these, you have a plan, right? I do. Okay, so we're gonna get those giant majesty palms that are actually really inexpensive, but they're gonna look so tropical. Yeah. Unlike, I don't even know what vibe this is, like what region is weeds. Yeah, but also the bases, like they're just like really heavy, low key. Oh yeah, like I don't mind them, they're actually kind of cool, but I think if we get white paint, freshen them up a bit, they could look really chic. More like worldly Bali and yeah, less yeah, like yeah. Roman. <laughs> yes. If we can keep some of this soil though, that saves us having to buy. Yeah, maybe just get all the roots out. Yeah. All right, is that all the weeds then? I think so, I'm gonna start sweeping. Work team. I spotted this squeegee on the other side of Angela's patio. I think that the window washers dropped it, but I'm just gonna borrow it for now to help clean the windows. So getting dirty soapy water on yourself from cleaning is super gross and I thought this was the grossest it would get. Did you go around <laughs> this? I did. It was heavy, um, but we're going to get rugs tomorrow. We have to get a lot of things. Let's do a shopping day, come back, and come then. back. And assemble? Yeah! I think it's we're in a good spot. Everything's clean and empty and looks good. All right, that's about it for today. Next up, we're gonna go shopping for everything that we're gonna need for Angela's patio. Oh yeah, that one's nice. I can barely see you. <laughs> Back at Angela's, and now it's time to get started on building this giant railing bar. Okay. What's first? How are we gonna build this? Genius. All right. Here's here's the plan. 
I think what we do is we build like essentially the table first. Okay. And then we attach like the nice cover for it. Yeah, we're just trying to hide this, right? Yeah. So to make this bar top table, we're gonna be taking two long pieces of a thick wood and attaching them together with some thinner pieces of board. Soapy water on me, sir. He's looking down what? like he knows he's doing it. Ugh. And after we just cleaned this floor the other day, look like, at it. He's like, I don't know if it's making it better or worse. Oh my god, that's so rude, actually, though. Can you not? Ugh. I cannot get away from this disgusting, dirty, soapy water, but we're just gonna have to work through it. <laughs> Measurements. I'm so impressed at how this bar is looking already. I knew it would look great in my head, but now it's even more amazing to see it in real life. So now we're gonna give it a quick sand. So we're gonna do, I know this is already light pine already, but like a light bleachy gray color. Yeah, yeah, we want to match the article furniture. That's like a nice And does not look like raw wood and protect it. Yeah, but I honestly I've never used a stain that's like lighter. So this I know be fun. I feel like it's like kind of a paint, kind of a stain, it's like kind a, of a sealant. An oily gray paint, maybe. <laughs> this is gonna be a first time just trying out everything. Just doing it before I read the instructions, you know. One to two hours before recoat, okay. stain will be Coating will resist rain after four hours. Oh nice. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain for four hours. Or Window wash rain. Okay, so we have these giant palms that need to go in this. I mean, it's full of useful dirt. I don't want to empty them. Can we just like cover it, paint it all? I think that's probably fine. I think it'll be fine. We just have to make sure they're dry before we start potting. One, two, three. Oh, that, what? That was like one of those levitation things where it's like, if more than one of you like hold on, it's like Not that heavy. light as a feather. Light as a feather. Or, <laughs> may, or maybe you're just doing all the work. vibing really well, but these glass walls are killing the vibe. I know, like you can see the patio <laughs> furniture of the neighbor. Like no, 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 no. So like this gorgeous fabric here. Some an outdoor canvas. We can paint and hang over and solve a world of problems. So these are gonna go side by side, but since like, do you want the print to line up? Kind of, right? Yeah. Is it crazy to paint them while they're hung up? No, that's a great idea. Is it actually? Yeah. Okay. Once we have our canvas hung up with some outdoor removable sticky hooks, we're just painting on some bold graphic patterns, some of which might allude to something that Angela's interested in. Brush, brush, thanks. <laughs> I think, let's flip this. I don't know if you like, do you want me to start it and then you continue it? Okay. It's sense? like Simon Says. <laughs> Simon Says. Let's start with lines. Can't mess up lines too much. Oh my god, I feel like there's a lot of pressure. So 
Angela is an accountant, so we decided to add in some percentage signs and ticks and division symbols and equal signs. Oh, so cute. Hey, this that's so really much better. Good. Yeah, so good. So much more homey. <sighs> okay, what else? Um, I think it's the final countdown. countdown. It's like, we're not at final shots, but we're at final furniture, big pieces. So this is like a little lounging corner yeah. for like two people. Okay. So let's do rug and two loungers. And her existing table. Oh yeah, it worked so well. Okay. okay. And bah. Got a little curve, but don't we all? <laughs> We're a little curvy. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. so good. Oh, so loungy. So vibey. Yeah. Oh Not God. bad. I would want to hang out here all day, every day. And it's not even done yet. Oh, oh, that view though. Oh wow. yeah. So in my plans, we have the big carpet there, but now that we found that gem of a trash rug, trash rug, trash rug, I think that can go there since it's a smaller space, and we can put the big one here. Buy patio floor. <laughs> Clean deal for nothing. You can always put it under that too if we wanted to. I feel like sticking it under that leg might make it feel more grounded. Like you know how you always put a carpet under a couch a little bit. Yeah. And then we have some like planties yeah. that can fill that gap. Yeah. Okay. All of this gorgeous furniture really made this space come together. Thank you so much, Article. And guys, make sure to check out the link below to see more amazing pieces. Wow. Cute. <laughs> Dude, lounger as couch, genius. Daybed dreams. Daybed dreams. <laughs> okay. I think it needs some pillows. I think we need some plants. The bar is looking empty too. We should style it with like, I don't know, like like a setup. As you would. As you would. So she understands that I can eat and drink here. I can eat and drink. Because it was unclear before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, let's bring in all of those fun things and it's gonna like really complete the space. You almost left me hanging. Well, that was like so aggressively <laughs> ready for it. I didn't know what, should I do this or should I do this? <laughs> Always this, Becky. Okay. This is so good. We did a good job, I think. I no, think. No, I know, I know. I never know until we put the last little things on everything and then I know. It's like, oh, this is a space. It's it's so good. Okay. It's um, so good. We just need to wait for Angela to come home from work. <gasps> and then we can show her. I'm not even nervous because I know she's gonna love it. Like she came from basically nothing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She started from the bottom and now she's here. <laughs> Toronto Drake reference. <laughs> Yes. Like some people have good rooms that we make better, but this is like, how can you not love this? True. It's so good. All ah. right. All right. Angela's home from work and it's time to show her what we've been up to. There's step a step here. here. As you probably know. As you know. <laughs> so we're so excited to welcome you to your brand new patio. Open your eyes in three, three two, two, one. Oh. This is the <laughs> So, we brought in this fresh feel with the bleached wood. With a little bit of trash. And a little bit of trash carpet. Do you notice? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you painted those. Yes. They look so good, eh? They got a full refreshed feel with the white paint. Like, oh they look so god. expensive now and they fit the vibe. As you know, we built you this custom bar that you can stand or sit at. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sit down <laughs> on and your you new can. lounger. So this lounger is from Article, but it, it does come up if you want to actually lie on it. Yeah, oh. it does lounge. Oh it my lounges. god. But it, it kind of acts as a day bed, acts as a lounger. It does I, it all. I may just sleep here. <laughs> you can. You can. Oh. We give you a little bit of lighting. It hopefully will give you it's some something. We, you know, as you know, it's hard to like install anything out here. Wait, how are the are these actually? Lit? They're all battery powered. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Wow. Do you want to come sit on the other side? Come take a tour. Come, sure. come. This is your new little plant garden. A oh, little tropical outdoorsy goodness. plant. And then these are your new lounging chairs. Oh my god. <laughs> is it good? Is it good? This is amazing. <laughs> this bar. It's so good. Wow. You guys did an amazing job. Do you like your artwork? Look at so, this. <laughs> it's okay. accounting themed. It's division, or not division, it's percentages. So, oh, you don't even know it's why. sideways division symbols. Equal signs, <laughs> percentage so signs. embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I love it so even though Angela didn't end up picking my design, I think the makeover turned out amazing. That bar top and the open concept worked so well with her patio shape, and I'm so excited to spend some time out here. I am so excited with how this makeover turned out, and I'm even more happy that she loves it so much, and now she has a place that she can use and hang out in all the time. It was so fun to do a type of space that we haven't done before, so if you have a space in mind that you think we should make over next time, comment below and we might just do it. If you guys like this episode of Style Selected, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, sub it, and we'll see you next time.